welcome. I'm glad you decided to come today and visit me go on a labyrinth walk. It's one of my favorite things to do with my friends. And you are definitely my friends after spending a whole year talking online in this internship class. Bill and I have lived here for 20 years. And so things are always in change. Over here you see where we had a awning for our firewood that we're in the middle of rebuilding with a shed because it collapsed under the snow last year. This first part of the garden is where Bill and I got married back in 1993. And so this big gate's our 15th anniversary memorial. Kind of, it was his present for me. So I have a wonderful gate to my garden. And this is where Bill and I took our vows to love, honor, and cherish each other till death do us part. Right here. This tree fell over in the snow, but it's my very favorite freestone plum tree, and it's still alive. And so I think I'm going to prop it up on some concrete blocks. It's lived for a whole year this way, and it seems to like it, so this is what it's doing. And I'm still in the middle of spring cleaning my garden, so you see we've got the rest of the truckload of dirt here, refilling the beds. But now that you're here at my labyrinth garden, we started building it about five or six years ago. When, I'm, when I say me, I mean my friends and my husband and my kids have all helped me a little bit, um, especially with the block work to try to get the beds straight and even. There's an eight foot deer fence that goes around the garden here that you can kind of see off in the distance. I like to start my garden walk with a body prayer. So if you put your hands together, bring them together. Just say, Lord, I come to you. yourself. Clear up high. Stretch. Praise God. Breathe deeply. And bring all that grace back inside until you're just filled to overflowing. And it spreads all the way out into the world around you. And you come back to So, this is a three-circuit labyrinth, especially when the gates are in place the way they need to be. Raspberries, strawberries, mint, rhubarb. Asian pear trees. Brand new blueberry bushes. These are some wonderful older blueberry bushes that the man we bought the house put in probably 30 years ago. And some new baby blueberry bushes. And grapes that are three years old. And I've discovered that snapdragons and pansies come back in my little beds. In my, um, so I have a bunch of those. And hydrangeas like the shade better. I moved my roses out of my house a, a couple years ago because the deer started eating them like crazy from where they'd been for several years in front of the house. But they're not very happy here, so I'm transplanting them to my daughter's house in town this year and putting other things in their beds to place. This is a peppermint bed. I picked my mint the other day. Basil, stevia, rosemary. 
it's Mary. My sister Debbie gave me these little bulbs a couple years ago from where she dug them out of her yard. It was one of my favorite corners of the yard when I was a little kid. She's living a house I lived in when I was about six years old. And so I get to have a bunch of these flowers again, which is nice. Thyme, tarragon, some little margarine, which is an annual here that I planted, and some um, chamomile that has been reseeding itself. I've put a couple more plants in this year, but the other ones have been seeded from seed from just themselves. This is a mixed mint bed mostly Moroccan mint. Um, there's a little bit of orange mint, a little bit of chocolate mint, but mostly Moroccan mint in this one. And these are leeks. The last couple of the ones that I planted a couple years ago. And then I planted some new baby ones. And this is a really pretty white hydrangea that my friend Polly got me, and it'll be in bloom soon. Rainbow Swiss chard. This is going to be my um, peas and beans, and I string them so they climb. They're planted now, but they aren't up yet. And I replanted my lavender this year because it had gotten pretty woody and not so good. And one of my favorite older couples at the Oak Ridge Church, the Hellickson's, started a whole bunch of little marigolds, and they gave them to people last Sunday in um, just little, you know, like plastic cups that they'd put seeds into. And so each cup had, oh, 10 or 12 of them in there. And so I just replanted mine in here. So in a few months, I'll have a whole bunch of yellow, just bright yellow right here. And that'll be some little pink carnations. And this is the first herb bed that I ever had. So I've got a little sage bunch of oregano, chives. It used to have some thyme and some other things, but it, they didn't um, compete well with this stuff, so that's what stayed here, and so I've planted other things other places. And these are some Mr. Lincoln roses that are not all that happy here, and so they're going to be going to live at my cousin, my daughter's house. roses come out of it, and it, I've planted a bunch of sage. And this is the center, which is the last part to get clean. And as I clean that, I'm going to write prayers for you, all of you. Peace and grace and mercy. And I'll put them on real little ribbons that hang off of this metal tree. In the center, as I do my walk, I like to do the same prayer in each direction.
raspberries came from my friend um, Marge and she and Tom are in their 70s and Marge is part of my contemplative prayer group that I've been in for a long time and she gave me lots of starts off of her raspberries and as you can see they like to make little babies all over so when mine get a little better established I'll give a whole bunch to my daughter. 